Hello, I want to walk you guys through um, a really, really, really powerful feature that we have in regards to JWTs. Um, so a lot of questions come in from users of Tyke and they want to know about the flexibility of JWT. Well, um, that's what I want to cover a little bit. So basically how to apply dynamic authorization based off of uh, claims in your JWTs. Um, so let's cover it real quick. So here in an API, I set the authentication type to JWT. Now I'm doing this in the in the in the UI here. Uh, you can toggle it and do it via the JSON as well. JSON Web Token, uh, HMAC. So this because this can work with anything that's creating JWT tokens, whether it's an IDP like Okta or Keycloak, or if you're just creating them manually, it doesn't matter, right? A JWT is a JWT. So just for simplicity's sake, I've uh, creating JWTs with a shared secret, uh, leaving sub and poll as defaults. We're not actually going to use them. And now I'm applying a default policy. So if if Tyke doesn't pick up any uh, policy claims um, to apply dynamic authorization and policies, we're just going to apply standard. Um, so define your rules appropriately given the use case. Okay. Um, so just to see that in action, I'm going to go back to JWT.io. I'm going to get rid of my policy claims here and back up. I'm going to um, create a new sub to represent a new user ID. It's the same secret that matches how we define it in Tyke, so Tyke will be able to validate the signature. So we copy this JWT. There's no claims in here, just basically a unique username and a time and some metadata that uh, we don't care about. We copy that, we go back to Postman, we try to access our JWT API and I want the get endpoint, which will reverse proxy to HTTP bin. I paste my JWT token and I get access, I'm gonna allow it through. And I get access to 50 requests uh, a minute or something like that. So that's the default uh, claim has been applied because Tyke didn't pick up any policies. So now let's apply the dynamic um, uh, policies. So I've created three different policies. One is bronze, it gives access to only three requests every 10 seconds. Uh, another one is restricted, it only gives access to uh, a, a one certain path. And then I have a, a third uh, um, policy uh, and uh, it gives access to a, a third path, okay? And I'm actually going to show you how we can combine these. So we told Tyke to look, uh, to extract the claims from the uh, field name called policy claim. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll copy that. We'll go back to JWT.io and we're going to add a new policy claim here. And we are going to add the prawns, prawns, the bronze claim initially. So I'll copy that um, new token that we have. Actually, I'll increment this in case I didn't. And we have to increment this every time because type this some caching with the previous sub. Um, you can think of the sub as the unique ID. And so uh, I don't want what's in the cache. It's, it's stale. So I'm going to increment this so Tyke will create a new identity and we don't have any weird compatibility issues and we'd have to clear the cache and none of that stuff. So I'm going to copy this and now we're going to go back to here. We're going to use our new JWT bearer token and uh, we should only get access to three requests a second. And there it is. In about five or six seconds it'll come back and we'll be able to do that again. Um, let's take a look. I'll just do it. There we go. So uh, now let's do the restricted one. So we have restricted and restricted too. So um, I am going to do uh, just both of them just for the speed sake. So I'm actually going to apply two different policies here. So there's restricted and restricted to, and then I'll increment this to 900. Um, so now we should inherit both policies. So I'm going to copy this. I'll go back to this. Now we'll use our new JWT token and we'll try to access. Uh, we get access to this resource has been disallowed and that's because uh, neither of the policies allow access to this. So we, uh, if we do the first one, anything allowed path, we should now have access. Um, and that's a thousand requests a second or something. And then allow secondary path and now we have access to that. So no, and nothing else will work, only those two paths. And Tyke actually combined the policies, uh, uh, both policies. So I go back to log browser. Here's a 200 that we just did. And if I open that up, we can see, um, Let's take a look at our tag. So Tyke, of course, adds metadata. So notice here that we have two policies and one key. That's uh, that's because it actually added both policies because we added both claims to the JWT. So if I copy that and I go back to the key, and I can post the key, the hash of the key in here and look it up. 
Uh, and then here we can actually see that there's two policies that belong to this key. I can open these up uh, and then I, I can see it actually merged the paths from my two policies. That's it. Thanks for watching.